Okay, in this video I'm going to look at finding the average value of a function on an interval. And as far as stuff that you see dealing with integration and calculus course, I would say this is probably one of the more straightforward things to do here. So the formula to find the average value of a function f of x on the interval a to b, what we do is we just take 1 over b minus a, so 1 over the length of the interval, and then we multiply that by the integral from a to b of f of x dx. So typically when you see these problems, at least when I saw them, there really wasn't a lot more to doing these problems than just using that formula. So just a quick example here. So we're going to find the average value of the function f of x equals x squared plus x plus 1 on the interval from 1 to 3. So a lot of times they just write it abbreviated as f av, so, you know, obviously the average value of f. And what we do is we just take 1 over, well, in this case, a, or our a value is going to be 1, our b value is simply going to be 3. So we'll take 1 over the difference, 3 minus 1, and then we integrate from 1 to 3 of our function. So we've got x squared plus x plus 1 dx. And that's now all we have to calculate here. So, well, 1 over 3 minus 1, that's just 1 half. Let's integrate the function x squared plus x plus 1. So the antiderivative of x squared, well, we'll get x to the third over 3. The antiderivative of x is simply x squared over 2. And then the antiderivative of 1 will simply be x. And again, we have to evaluate this from 1 to 3. Okay, so now it's just sort of plugging and chugging. So if we substitute 3 in, we'll have 3 to the third divided by 3, which is 3 squared, or 9. Plus, again, if we substitute 3 in, we'll get 3 squared, or 9 over 2. Then we'll add to that 3. So there's our upper limit of integration. Minus, uh, let's just substitute in the lower limit. So if we plug in 1s, we'll just have 1 third plus 1 half, plus 1. And again, now it's just a matter of simplification. So let's see. Um, if we take 9 plus 3, that's 12. And if we subtract 1, 12 minus 1 is going to leave us with 11. So that takes care of those terms. 9 halves minus 1 half, that's going to give us 8 halves. And, well, 8 halves is just the same thing as 4. So that'll take care of those two terms, and then we simply have minus one-third. Okay, so let's see. 11 plus 4 is 15, so we would have 15 over 1 minus one-third. So if we get common denominators, that's going to be 45 over 3 minus one-third. So that's going to be one-half times, well, 45 thirds minus one-third, that's just uh, 44 over 3, and 44 divided by 2 is going to leave us with 22 over 3, and that's our average value. So again, nothing too terrible at all. Um, you know, to me, the only thing that can really make a problem like this at all too terribly difficult would just be, you know, if, you, if the function that you're calculating the antiderivative of is just more messy. But other than that, it's just 1 over uh, the length of the interval, calculate your definite integral, and multiply those values together, and that'll give you the average value.